dice up this rabbit. Now you see the way I got them positioned here? Kind of like I'm ready to be chopped up. So I'm going to quarter them up like that. You know, you got, once again, you got the chicken breast there, you got the chicken leg thighs and all that stuff. Chicken so, breast and chicken thighs? Yeah, see here, so you got the thighs. That ain't no chicken. Yes, right, that's not a chicken. <laughs> My bad. Same thing. White meat. So, Jesus Christ. first thing I'm going to do is, um, let me see how I want to do this. Yeah, because that's my chicken bag. I'm going to keep my chicken bag. I'm going to cut them right in half, right there. First thing, right down the middle. Yeah, so now you got two rabbits. <laughs> you got a front rabbit and a back rabbit. <laughs> and I'm going to cut off his uh his little uh legs here, little hobbity hops. <clears throat> hobbity hops, got to go. This is a strong rabbit. I think we just need, we needed a better knife. Get the other one right there. Yeah, boy. So I got my two rabbit back hobbity hops. One, two. Then you got that part. We're going to leave all that on there. I'm going to cut these flanks off, though. One on that side. That's a lot of good meat there. I'm gonna keep him too. Then I'm gonna cut off. Yeah. Keep all of that. Yep, 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 yep. Rabbit leg. Number four. Three. It's easy to butcher a rabbit. Just cut his ass off. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Them little limbs come off real easy. Now you got your main part of your rabbit back. You got your side flanks. I just like those off like that. I keep that though. Same thing on this side, like a rabbit skirt. Done. All right. So then you got this. Is all you got left. See it? And so how am I gonna do this? Cause that's all bone in there, really. Uh. Let me see, what's the best way I'm going to go about doing that? Oh, I got to hold back. I don't need that part. Come on. Gosh, damn. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's more like that. So now, that's, you got his neck bone. Yeah, that got to come out too. Oh, neck Jesus bone Christ. gone. So now you got a good rabbit back. And this here part, oh uh, yeah, it got, it got some meat in there, so I'm gonna keep it. Ooh, that's his neck throat. His what? His throat. You see it one part? Ah, uh, throw, oh, throw that part in the garbage. Just throw that whole piece in the garbage. Oh, uh -uh, some leather meat on there. You keep that. I don't keep need this part though. Yeah. Do you have it? You got a fully dismembered rabbit. <laughs> yep. I got my. Leg, or an arm, another arm, it's two back hoppy hops, his back, that's his lower back, upper back, his breastbone there, and got a little chewy little flakes on the side. Boom! Rabbit, prepared, ready. Now we're actually about to fry this up. Be right back. So what you guys have are the rabbit pieces that my husband cut up. And you're going to go ahead and put whatever seasonings that you like to use. Whatever it might be, these are just the seasonings that I am going to use. Um, if you would like the seasoning that I use, just let me know down in the comments. And I will put those into the description box for you. So you want to season it up after you've cleaned it really really good and I cleaned this rabbit the same way I do chicken
And once you get everything seasoned up, you just want to mix it all up and get that seasoning distributed all on your pieces of rabbit. And as you guys saw, my husband kept calling it chicken. <laughs> he loves chicken. So like a kid, everything is chicken. Then you're going to go ahead and get yourself about two cups of uh, of all-purpose flour and I had put some in a bag and you're gonna go ahead and just flour it up the same way you do some chicken y'all and I have some canola oil heating on the stove I have it on like a medium-high heat because what you want to do is you don't want to cook the rabbit totally in this oil I just want to get a nice sear on both sides of it because then we're gonna let this just simmer down in some gravy which you'll see coming up soon And so here I'm just adding them into my canola oil. And like I said, I just want to sear them on both sides. You don't want to cook them because they are going to cook slow if you want your rabbit meat to come out tender. Now, I myself, <laughs> I don't eat rabbit, but I do know how to cook it. <laughs> I know how to cook it really, really right. My mom used to always cook rabbit when I was growing up but I don't eat it, but I do know how to cook it. both sides just enough to get it nice and brown like you see here and then we're going to take that out of the pan and just continue browning the rest of your rabbit meat in batches And once you're done browning your rabbit meat in that canola oil, you're going to pour most of the oil out. I left about maybe two to four tablespoons of oil in there in that pan along with the bottom drippings. Cut up a onion, a small onion, and I just sliced them. And now you're going to put that in your pan with the little bit of oil you have. And you're going to put the same amount of flour that you have. So just hold on to that flour that you had in the bag that you floured your rabbit meat with and now you're just going to brown this flour along with the onions because now we're just making some gravy in there I'm just pouring in a little bit more oil But what you want to do is if you have two tablespoons of oil, you want to use two tablespoons of flour. You always want to do equal parts. And I just put in some of that chicken bouillon cube, about a teaspoon of that. And now you just season 
with whatever seasonings that you want to put into your gravy. I would suggest using the same seasonings that you seasoned your rabbit meat with. And once you get the color that you want, then you can start, you know, moving on to your next steps. I'm also going to add some of that kitchen banquet in there. It's just going to give it a little bit of color. Um, and then I also have some brown gravy that I'm going to put in there as well, just to add some more flavor into this. And I'm starting out with two cups of water. You want to have enough gravy to pretty much kind of cover your rabbit because you want to cook this low on low heat that's where it's going to get tender at if you have it too high and you cook it too fast it's going to just be tough And that's the gravy that I was just telling you about. I just put just a little bit of that in there. And you're going to want to bring this up to a nice little simmer. And then I turned it down and I just cooked it on low for about an hour. Mm -hmm. And right there you see me adding back in the rabbit pieces and I'm just gonna let this just simmer just let it simmer on low for about an hour I'm laughing because even though I don't eat rabbit it really smelled really really good <laughs> it smelled really good but that's basically it you guys you're gonna want to cover this up and continue cooking it like I said on low heat for about an hour and then just go in and check with a fork or something just check it for tenderness and then once it's tender, you're all set. It's all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Mm. That's pretty tender. Woo! I'm hot! Thank you so much for watching. Stay forever blessed.